Hello and welcome to another Salty Sunday. Apologies for my croaky voice, I'm just getting over about a flu. I love visiting aquariums. There's something almost hypnotic about watching sharks gliding so effortlessly or just resting on the bottom looking completely at peace. But I've never really thought about whether sharks get bored in captivity, whether they might actually need enrichment the same way land animals do to stay healthy and engaged. But that's exactly what some new research looked into. Scientists gave sharks and rays something unexpected. They gave them pool toys. They wanted to see how these animals interacted with different colours, how timing mattered and how each species responded in its own way. Environmental enrichment is all about improving the animal's surroundings, encouraging natural behaviours and reducing stress. It's a big deal in modern animal care, as it should be. But most of what we know about it comes from land animals like primates, elephants and big cats. For aquatic species, especially sharks and rays, there's still a lot we don't know. And elasmobranchs are complex. Their behaviour can shift with temperature and light levels. Some species are bottom dwellers. Others prefer cruising above the seafloor. Some are nocturnal and others are active during the day. Even their vision differs. Some rays can see colour, but most sharks can't. They see mostly in shades of grey. So when you think about enrichment in a tank that holds multiple shark species, it's clear that one size definitely doesn't fit all. This new study took place at the Cabrillo Marine Aquarium in San Pedro, California. The tank housed four different species, five horn sharks, five swell sharks, two leopard sharks, and a California skate. In total, there were 13 individuals. Once a week, the sharks were fed at 9am. During the study, an hour before feeding time, researchers placed colourful plastic rings on the bottom of the tank. Blue, lime green, yellow and bright orange, spaced evenly around the habitat. They then observed the sharks for an hour before feeding and an hour after, recording every bump, swim by and bite for 29 weeks. At first the sharks didn't seem too interested, but after three weeks activity picked up, especially from the leopard sharks, who became the stars of the show. They were by far the most interactive, and they clearly preferred the yellow and orange rings over the blue and green ones. It seems high contrast colours are more stimulating for them. Towards the end of the experiment, interactions dipped a bit, maybe the novelty wore off, but still stayed higher than at the start. Even sharks, it seems, can get a little bored of their toys. The results confirmed what animal behaviourists have suspected for years, that enrichment has to be species specific. For example, timing matters. Horn and swell sharks are nocturnal, so they are less active during the daytime tests. Leopard sharks, on the other hand, are more diurnal and were curious, engaged and playful. Colours and contrast matter too. Even though sharks don't see colour the way we do, high contrast objects stand out to them and that makes a difference. Enrichment isn't just about adding toys, it's also about enhancing the habitat the sharks are kept in. This was highlighted in a study at Melbourne Zoo which has a single tank housing Port Jackson sharks and southern fiddler rays and is shared with some other species of fish. The tank was in need of renovation and the environment complexity was greatly enhanced with caves, seaweed clusters and a new visitor barrier. The Port Jackson sharks began swimming more overall but less along the tank walls and surface which is great as those perimeter laps and surface breaking moments we often see in captive sharks are actually signs of stress. In this case, the new complexity gave them something better to do, something closer to their natural rhythm. They started resting in different parts of the tank instead of hiding in the same spot, exploring more of their space. And interestingly, once visitors could no longer reach over the water, the sharks began spending more time near the front of the exhibit rather than avoiding it. 
The fiddler rays told a similar story. They rested more, swam less, exactly what you'd expect from a benthic species in the wild. When the coarse shell grit was replaced with fine coral sand, they even began to partially bury themselves again, a simple natural behaviour that had disappeared before. Another recent study looked at cow nose rays and how they responded to food-based enrichment. They were given things like vegetables or ice blocks containing food. The rays became more active, swimming and interacting with the items. While they foraged less while the food was present, once the enrichment was removed, they actually foraged more, almost as if the experience had sparked curiosity that carried over afterward. Whether it's through enrichment toys, creative feeding strategies, or more natural habitats, good enrichment isn't about keeping animals occupied, it's about giving them the chance to behave like themselves. And when we hold them in captivity for our curiosity and education, helping them live more naturally is the very least we can do. Thank you for watching, and if you have enjoyed this video, then please like, subscribe, and share with your like-minded friends.